Conversation 1. Meeting with friends. Good morning, everyone. I have to tell you something. Today, my friends have invited me to meet them. Oh, that sounds nice, dear. What time will you be going? Around noon, I think. It will be a good time to catch up with them. Mom. Can I come with you? I have nothing to do today. I would love for you to come, honey. But you are in high school. And you have your own plans. Plus, your little brother Tony will be here. Mom, I want to go with you too. Ah, that's sweet of you. But you need to stay home with your sister. Mommy will be back soon, I promise. Okay, Mom. But can you bring me some ice cream when you come back? Of course. I will get you your favorite ice cream. You know, it's hard to trust men after what happened to me. They all seem the same. Anna, not all men are like that. It's just that your ex-husband was a bad person. I agree with Sarah. My husband loves me a lot. And he has been supportive through everything. I understand what you are saying. But it's really hard for me to trust in love again. After everything I have experienced. Hey, let's not think about that right now. We are here to enjoy ourselves. How do you like the food here? Oh, I love the pasta. It's delicious. All right. Let's talk about something else. How are your kids doing, Emma? They're great. My daughter started school. And my son plays all the time at home. That's wonderful. My kids are growing up too fast. My eldest is already in high school. You know Sarah. Anna always seems so negative. She is always complaining about people. Yeah, I have noticed that as well. She often sees the negative side of things. He talks like this. And it makes me crazy to hear it. Why can't she be more positive? I have known Anna for a long time. And that's just how she is. She is a crazy girl. I understand that. But it feels like she has stuck in the past. I agree. But we can't change her. We can only be there for her when she needs us. After all, she is our friend. Yes, honey. You're right. Conversation 2. The Road Accident. Oh my goodness! What happened here? I need to help her right now. This girl is hurt badly. Who could do something like this? And just run away? It's so wrong. Who are you? And how did it happen? Hey, can you hear me? I'm here to help. Please, it hurts so much. Can you take me to the hospital? Okay. I will take you to the hospital. Stay strong. Excuse me, sir. I need your help. We have some medications that need to be taken to the pharmacy urgently. Of course. I will do that. Just tell me what you want me to do. Here are the prescriptions. Please take them to the hospital pharmacy, which is on the ground floor. Got it. I will take this to the pharmacy right away. How is the girl doing? The surgery is going well. We will keep you updated on her condition. Thank you, sister. I hope she recovers quickly. I need these medication. 
Please give me as fast as you can. Sure, let me take a look. Alright, I see these are needed right away. We will prepare them as quickly as possible. Please, it's really important. A girl is in surgery. And they need these medications. Don't worry. Just give us a few minutes. Here you go, sir. These are ready for you. Thank you for your quick help. How much is it? It's $45, sir. Here you go. Thanks again for your help. John, I have been calling our daughter. But her phone is switched off. I'm scared. It's okay, dear. Maybe she is with her friends and forgot to charge her phone. But she usually tells us where she is. I can't stop worrying. I know. But let's not worry too much. She is responsible. You are right, John. I will try not to be so scared. She will be back soon. Let's stay positive and believe she is safe. And having fun with her friends. Hello. Hey, where are you, man? We are all waiting for you. Sorry, I'm at the hospital. There is an emergency. A girl got hurt. And I'm waiting here. Is everything okay? Do you need help? No, no, it's not me. I'm just here to help. She got into an accident. I will be late for the party. Oh, I see. Take your time. We will wait for you. Just let us know if you need anything. Thanks, buddy. You guys go ahead and have fun. I will join you as soon as I can. No problem. Take care, and I hope everything is okay at the hospital. Excuse me. The girl's phone is here. Can I have it? Here it is, sir. This is the girl's phone. It's switched off. Did you find anything else with her, like an ID? I'm sorry. We didn't find anything else with her. How can I find out who she is then? Do you have a charger for this phone? Yes, we do. I can charge it for you. That would be really helpful. Thank you so much. Doctor. How is the girl? Is she okay? I have good news. She is fine now. She is out of danger. And you brought her in just in time. You did a great job. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I was really worried about her. Thank you for taking care of her. We all work together. And you helped a lot by getting her here quickly. She is safe now. I'm so glad she is going to be okay. Can I meet her right now? She is unconscious now. When she regains consciousness, the nurses will let you know. You can meet then. All right, doctor. Please come back later. The conversation is still pending. Bye.